first off, no spoilers, can you tease a little bit about what's to come in the second half of the season? Oh, yeah. Um, I think really the action ramps up. Um, I, you know, a lot of the relationships between Claire and Jamie and the clan Mackenzie, we see all of these relationships being tested. A lot of the alliances start to maybe unravel a little. Um, and just, yeah, it gets a lot more intense and I think it gets a little darker. Are there any particular scenes that you're really proud of and looking forward to fans to see? Yeah, there's actually, you know, I feel really proud about this second half of the season. I love, um, you know, episode 11, I'm going to say. <laughs> um, the, the, the witch hunt. Uh, I think that's going to be something really exciting for the fans to see. Um, you know, Ep9 is, is really fantastic. It's, it's a tough one. There's um, a lot of the Claire and Jamie conflict is, is present. Um, and then, you know, as we go on, Ep14 I think is going to be really fun. And then the last two Eps I think are going to be quite uh, interesting for people to see. And now, of course, I must ask about the nudity on the show, because th maybe this is why I'm not an actress, but I just can't wrap my head around being comfortable doing that on set. So were you completely aware of what you were getting into when you first signed on for this? Um, well, I'd never filmed any scenes of that nature before. Um, obviously, I'd read the book. I knew what was in the book. Um, I knew that that was going to be filmed. Uh, I don't know that you know how you're going to feel about it. You can kind of you know, try and assess what how you will feel, but um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm I'm quite a comfortable person with my body. I, you know, I, I don't mind that much, but um, I think I knew when I first talked with Ron um, that these were going to be handled in in the right way. I mean, Ron is someone who he's an incredible man. He's got this incredible emotional intelligence and sensitivity and. Um, he was very adamant that the, these scenes, that they were going to be part of the story, that they were going to be integral to what was happening and, you know, further the story along. And they weren't going to be gratuitous and they weren't going to be just there for the sake of it. And so with that, I sort of trusted his lead. And, you know, it's, it's one thing filming them because we have a very um, tight crew that we're very, you know, I trust them all. I feel very comfortable with them. And obviously Sam and, and both Tobias are amazing actors and I trust both of them. It's a little different seeing it, <laughs> I will admit, when it, when it actually comes to air, I'm a little like, oh, but, uh, you know, I think it's, it's a great story to tell and, and this is part of it, so I don't mind too much. I was catching up in the airport last night and I was just sitting there <laughs> watching it with people looking over my shoulder. I'm like, maybe this is yeah. not a good idea right now. It's, yeah, it's not safe for work. <laughs> That's Let's a good way to put it. Way. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your costumes? Is there any part of the period piece costume that you would genuinely want to wear today? Um, I mean, to be honest, the, the undergarments for the wedding episode were so exquisitely beautiful. I would definitely keep them. I would probably wear that shift as a dress. Um, I would leave behind all the bum rolls and the panniers and the corsets because they're just not, it's just not practical for today's age. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the artistry that goes into making the costumes, the wedding dress was just a piece, it's a piece of art, you know. It took them so long to make and the, the embroidery on it and, and Terry was shaving stones, mica to, to stick on, on, like on an underneath skirt so it would barely shimmer through. I mean, the, the work that went into it is just incredible. But the 40s stuff, I would, I would steal a lot of it if, if I got my way. See, I'm the exact opposite. I would go for the plain stuff and take what you wear when you're like on the road and riding horses, because to me that's like this century's sweatshirt. Yeah, well actually the cape, it's funny, I sent Terry uh, a picture the other day on, and uh, it was this very cool uh, Yves Saint Laurent vintage wool cape, and I was like, look, you change out the hood for a collar, that's my cape. So yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the gore now? I, it's obviously not real, but does anything make you squeamish on set? Because some of it looks pretty authentic. No, I'm pretty good. I'm, I, I don't get too squeamish. I don't like to watch a lot of like really gory films or anything like that. But when it's on set, I guess I see the you know the mechanics of it and I see what that goes into it. You know, the, the special effects team were so wonderful, and I always just I'm fascinated. Like, I'm fascinated how they rig up the the you know, the veins so that when we, you know, do the amputation or, or things like that, you, you just see all this blood pumping and 
it's really, to me, it's just fascinating and I, I love watching it. How about with the whipping stuff? How does that work for, I mean, for your character and for Jamie as well? I mean, especially his, I'm picturing that one shot where his back is already raw and they take the whip and then the blood kind of spews it's out of it. It's incredible what they've done. That stuff is, is very, you know, that's tough to see, to watch. I mean, I wasn't there on those filming days, so I didn't get to see it up close. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, the team that they have who do the prosthetics and who do all the special effects are, are amazing. But, and also, I mean, the acting in those scenes is just fantastic. Sam does such an incredible job, so. And I'll save this for later. But the scene where you finally reveal that you have time traveled mm -hmm. to Jamie, can you talk a little bit about filming that? Because it seems like such a delicate balance between saying it the right way and his reaction as well. So how do you prepare for something like that? Well, it, it was one of those scenes that was sort of looming in the horizon, which I was like, oh, you know, and, and I remember talking with the director a couple of weeks before and we were trying to, you know, mull it over. And it's funny because it, it's, it's quite a simple scene in a way, but it has so much weight to it. I mean, so much depends on getting it right. And, you know, to us to say the line, you know, I'm from the future, it just seems sort of, <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that it's, it, you know, it's heartbreaking for her. This is, you know, she's really bearing her soul. And I think that that's what you have to keep bringing it back to is just where the character is at. And, and the, the stakes are so high for her that she could lose everything that she holds dear by, by revealing herself. And, and, you know, I think that's just where you have to always bring it back. But yeah, I, you know, I hope, I hope that people like that. I found it played very well. Good. Uh, now you still have so many episodes of this season left, but you're already renewed for season two, so is there anything you could tease about what's to come? Well, I just got scripts the other day, so I, I'm starting, I've, I've read two of them and it's very exciting. Yeah, season two is going to be incredible. I mean, you know, if anyone knows the, the book series, we're following book two. Um, we go to France, there's the French court, which will be really exciting. Um, and it's just amazing to see Claire and Jamie's relationship blossom further. And then also it's going to be interesting to be playing an older woman. So that's quite cool.